maraming maraming salamat, Lisha. Guys, mag-comment na kayo ng mga comments nyo below. So, ano mga inabangan yung segment ngayong araw na to. Welcome to the 7th episode of Inigo's Corner. Let's talk about R&B this afternoon. I'm super excited for our guest for today. Isa siya mga sana iniidolo ko sa pagdating ng performance and singing as well. Please welcome on the show, Prince of R&B, Chris Lawrence! Woo, woo, woo. What's up? What's up, Kuya? Inigo. What's good, brother? All right, let's take a seat. Good to see you. How are you feeling, man? I'm good, man. I'm a little nervous. First time on your show. Welcome to the show, <laughs> sir. All right, let's talk about, siyempre, R&B. You are the prince of R&B. And, right, right. Uh, paano mo ba nalaman na genre mo na talagang R&B? At what age? You know, would you believe that I actually started out as an alternative singer? I had, when I was 13, from 13 to 14, uh, I had an alternative band. We were singing Nirvana. We were singing... Uh, um, you know, all that stuff. Nirvana, That's two very different things. Day, you know, I mean, my hair was red. I had tongue piercings. I had eyebrow piercings, black earrings. I had a nose piercing. No way. Yo. <laughs> Went through the face. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the day that changed it was uh, I was watching... Parang, it was like an awards night. And it was uh, Brian McKnight and uh, Vanessa Williams. And they sang that song, Love Is. Okay. You know? Uh, and then when I listened to Brian McKnight, dude... When that dude sang, like seriously, this might sound a little weird, but he sent chills like straight down my spine, and I was like, "Woo!" <laughs> yep, yep. And I wanted to sing like that, and uh, yeah. Th ever since then, uh, I started ch doing R&B, and nice, uh, nice. yeah, that that did. Better than a man. Let's this question: How uh, is it challenging to bear such title? Uh, is it challenging? Um, well. First of all, it's an honor. Uh, it was passed to me by my kuya, uh, JR. <laughs> What's up, kuya JR? What's up, what's up? <laughs> and um, challenging, yeah, because there's like a bunch of, uh, there's, you know, there's a bunch of new artists. There's a bunch of new kids on, on the block. And uh, yeah, uh, you just, you're like fighting for your spot. You're, you're uh, just, you just got to stay in the game. <laughs> of course, I mean, a bunch of people look up to you guys, especially you and kuya JR. I grew up honestly just like looking up to you, JR, and Sam Concepcion. Oh, dope. Um, you know, like one of the reasons why I really wanted to do or try R&B as well. Awesome. First, dude. speaking of uh, new kids, you, uh, what can you say about the upcoming R&B artists that we have today in the industry? I love and it. tips for them as well. Um, I love, dude, I love especially seeing what uh, the music here in the Philippines is like, it's like evolving into. Yes, it is. Like, I love it. I yes. love seeing it. I love your, like, your stuff. I love hearing that. Dude, your song is so good vibes. <laughs> um, what's it called? My tips for them is, yo, just keep doing your thing because uh, you guys are doing a great job for the Philippines. You guys are putting us on the map. Um, you know, and uh, most importantly, you probably just stay in your lane. Know what your strengths are. Stay in your lane because when you stay in your lane, there is no competition. Yeah. Only competing with yourself. Only, co only yourself. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Now, let's talk about your music, naman, Kuya. Pag kumakanta ka, do you have like a song that is your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a song that's like your favorite? Na parang ever since you started, this is like the song that you know. Like this is this this is my song, you know. Um, anything Michael Jackson, dude. Really? Michael Jackson was was my dude when I was when I was four. Uh, his his album Thriller is what made me like love music. So, why did you make a song Michael Jackson a sample? Mm. Then? It's like a small part. <laughs> See here. <clears throat> I know. I'm gonna make a change for once in my life. <clears throat> it's gonna feel real good. Gonna make a difference. Gonna make it right. <laughs> I like that. But yeah. I want to ask a tip because I'm trying to learn how to do R&B runs as well. You? I don't know. I know, but like, you know, coming from you, like, what's something that you would, you know, tell someone uh, trying to learn? Uh, <coughs> what can I do to make my runs smoother and just better? Um, well, I could tell you what I did because uh, that's, you know, personal experience is like the best advice that you can give someone. Right? Uh, I copied. Like I would listen to Brian McKnight, I would listen to a certain something that he did, and I would do it over and over. I would listen to something Michael Jackson did, and I would do that over and over. Usher, I right, would do. Right. Usher yeah. was the, the the king at that time. 
uh, there was things that he would do and I would practice that over and over. And uh, when you can actually like and love listening to what you've done, then it, it builds your confidence right. and uh, you, you your yeah, you, that's when you're like, okay, I know, I know this is like my lane. Nice, nice. Yeah. It's like putting it all together yeah. and finding out your own identity. As yeah. Well. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. Thank you, Guya. All right. And now let's talk about future, or your new projects right now. Uh, do you have anything that you're promoting? Yeah. Um, I got a new song. Um, it's called Ako Na Lang, guys. It's available on Spotify and iTunes. And uh, actually, this is the first show that I'm, I'm, I'm pro promoting it. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you guys for letting thank me promote. You, thank you for being here. Um, it's called Ako Na Lang. And uh, ganito yun. This is, ito yung kwenza lang. No? Okay. So let's say, <clears throat> have you ever, have you ever had a friend? Okay. That you had a secret crush on your friend. All right. Okay, so there's this girl that you have a crush on. Mm. But this girl doesn't see you that way. Okay. So okay. you're kind of uh, like in the friend zone. You're that friend. And on top of that, she has a boyfriend. Okay. Okay. But you oh one time you went out and okay. you saw the dude yeah, yeah. with some other chick. Ooh. Right? So parang atat ka magsabi sa kanya na you, gusto mong isumbong kasi <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. gusto mong magpabango sa kanya, di ba? So, yun, that's the situation and yung gusto mong sabihin sa kanya na ako na lang. Right. Ako na I'm lang sure ma madami mga ka-relate dyan, di ba? So mga torpe, di ba? If you're uh, uh, able to ganun. express uh, your emotions to someone. And that's a good situation then. I'm sure people are gonna be able to relate to that. I hope so, yeah. Looking forward to it. I think we've been, we've all been in that. I know. Yes, sir. Sure. We all go through those things.